Welcome to Coaches Weekly. I'm CJ Solner here with hit interim head coach Caleb Braffitt. Coach, a season that you guys came up just short, but it I mean it was a season of a little turmoil early. You and your first season here taking over, but in general, I thought the team really kind of was very receptive to you. And but what are kind of your final thoughts on 2017 season? Yeah, you know, in general, the cards were kind of stacked against us with just everything, but the girls did an amazing job and um, they were constantly focusing on the things that mattered. And um, so that's really kudos to them and credit to them on being able to stay focused. And, you know, we lost a lot of seniors last year, lost a lot of starters. So there were definitely roles to be filled. And um, I thought the girls did a nice job for, um, from just the little minor roles that needed to be filled, you know, in practice and just encouragement and the devotions we do before games to obviously um, the major playmaking um, moments in the game as well. So overall, I was really proud and encouraged by them. Uh, they made my first season very smooth. Um, I couldn't have asked for a better group of seniors and just a better group of individuals um, to help me as well. I thought a really a big stepping stone and a good building block for this program is there were some freshmen and some younger players that really stepped up this season and showed that there's a bright future for them and there's st still room for growth yes but they're here and ready to play now yeah I was very impressed with the freshmen this year um you know we had a couple of freshmen that gave us big minutes starting wise but then also a couple of freshmen that came off the bench um that were just able to keep that high intensity um during the uh, during the flow of the game and so I'm excited to see where they're at I'm excited to see their improvements and just maturity overall um, happen this spring and I'm excited for next season and just to see what they can really do for the program what can you say about that senior class it's a very good group that was <laughs> was very receptive to you coming in and gave you the opportunity to kind of come in and coach I know every you kind of changed a little bit of the styles of how you guys played but they're a big part of why there was success this season. Yeah, you know, it's crazy. Those seniors saw three coaches. And so um, being able to come in, they're already just so adaptable. And uh, they were excited for the changes that we were making. And um, I think it was also um, a cool leadership moment for them because they were able, able to kind of help build the program as well. So as I, I was trying to establish a foundation of what I'd like to see the team look like this season, they were really filling in those minor uh, blocks like kind of behind the scenes and so just talking and encouraging to the uh, lower classmen and so yes I you know kind of had this idea and a plan but those seniors really are the ones that laid it down and they were the ones that followed me and were like hey this is what we're going to do and they were the ones behind the doors making sure that everyone was on the same page. Now we head into the off season what are kind of the expectations and challenges as we kind of close up the 2017 fall season now heading into the off season. Yeah, I'm really excited. The girls already um, started a group message and on Wednesday they're going to be having open gyms. So they've kind of already right away, I think they've only had a, you know, a week off now and they're like, hey, let's get back into it. So I'm excited that they're excited. So I'm um, definitely going to be doing some small sided things inside when it's getting cold. But then also I'm excited for the girls to hit the weight room. They've done an awesome job in season in the weight room. So I'm excited for them just to be able to focus on that piece a little bit. Um, as well, and then for them just to focus on the tactical side. Well, we look forward to seeing you guys back out in 2018. Cougar fans, you can always find all the information about CUC soccer at cucougars.com.